Over your head, clap over your head. Good job, good job. Keep it up, keep it up. Keep it up. Two more, two more, two more. Come on, come on. Hey, come on, just walk. Two more, two more. Rock him out, rock him out. Good job, guys. Keep going. Let's go, sit down. Just walk. Take a break, take a break. Take a dress. Just walk. Take a time. Okay. Nine, one more, one more, one more. One more. You get a break, you get a break. Come on. Good, you're too high. Let's go, baby.
Big goal. Come on, big Tape around, and then are we actually taping it? That's good. I got. I see what you're doing. Internally cut seven trees that are 30 inches. Internally that are 30 inches. Oh, <laughs> 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 
most difficult most yeah. most I'm not taking my head yes or no. Three, two, go! Zero two is nine seven one tree tree five zero zero point two in that order. Nine seven one five zero 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 two four. Don't worry about that. Yeah, don't be five. You said the next one was what? Eight seven six. Alright, we're facing this way right now. Here, this way, sorry. Right? We came down the darker yeah. ones. Yeah. Bottom left. Same dumb We got, we got Kilo Lima. Kilo Lima. There's no way I'm going to do it. Two, six, nine, six, one, three, five. Nine, six, one, three, five. Two, eight, zero, six. Zero, two, eight, six, six, and six, four. Be safe, guys. Go! There we go. Dang. You guys. Hey. Have you do the work. All the way up. Bad guy up there. 60 feet of deck cord already been cut down for your ring man to prime your charges. Let's go, sappers. Hurry up. Ready to go. Oh, all right. Keep it, Frank. Y'all go ahead and uh, damn bring drop you out. Hey, punch. That's what we did. That's all I said. I don't know, Sapper. You tell me. Can you transport demo primes with a cap? Negative.
Start your Kevlar. You already have paint for that, that's cool. Paint it down. Before you tape them, I'm going to check them, all right? <coughs> the the they called just a critting charge, or what was called? The first one's a shape charge. This one's a shape charge. <laughs> hey, if you need to, take your gloves off, Scott. All right, fill that thing up with dirt. You're not doing anything else now, just hold it tight. Hey, there's some more. Just put a rock right here. Let's get that sticking. Hey, get a stick. Get a stick. Hey, All right, team leader, are we good? Safety. One. One. Pop them. Burning. There you go. Hey, let's go. Let's go me on left leg. Oh! Oh! Team leader. Man, a camera gets on you and you just post so much.
Chef. You never know what's around the next corner, um, so you got to kind of be prepared for anything at any moment. So I think that's probably the biggest challenge. You know, we did really well on the run. Uh, Ruck March, we had a guy that had a, a small injury, but we still passed a couple teams. And Raft, we were first ones across. So I think just kind of using that brute strength to compensate. Um, hopefully get us ahead of the curve a little bit. That way if you make a mistake in some of the more technical things, you have a little bit of room to wiggle. Well, I was originally active duty, so I did uh, four years active duty as a forward observer, and then I looked to come over to Reserve or National Guard. I have a family now, so that kind of slowed me down off the active duty deployment cycle. Um, but anyway, keeps me stay. I, I'm at the risk of sounding a little bit corny, but it's just the, the patriotic side of it, you know. I've already have a master's degree. I'm not in it for money. Um, it's just it's it's a fun thing to do. Get out of. I have a desk job, <laughs> so uh, I work uh, at Wells Fargo. I'm a, a manager in the banking business, so it's pretty much cube farm desk all day. So it's nice to get out and still do those things. I did active duty, play with explosives and things like that. So that's like the fun part of it. But I think it's just the the duty to your country. It's, it's something that some people have. You know, I got a, a long family history of it and. While I may not be doing the active duty and go, go, go cycle anymore, at least I still get to enjoy, you know, coming out and doing these fun things every once in a while and playing around on the weekends and, and working with my guys. So I think that's what makes Keith coming back. Cypress Stakes has been a very, very interesting experience so far. I mean, it, it sucks at some parts, but uh, it's actually been really cool. Um, you know, real high speed, enjoyed, the, enjoyed all the training so far, something that I'm going to be able to take with me for the rest of my military career. We're very motivated uh, individuals, very motivated team. We don't yell at bicker at each other. I got to say, I've been on a couple other teams, um, not not so much the army, but you know, just in my life, and I've noticed that just in the first couple of days, that everybody's all you know bickering and yelling at each other. But our team, we've become family, especially uh, on the plane ride over here. Um, you know, we've we've uh, already talked to each other a good bit, found out all of our stories. We're very close, and uh, we keep ourselves motivated, we keep ourselves in check. Keeping everybody's head straight because uh, that's the key to the, all the events. You know, you can be super strong, you can be super smart on everything, but if you got one guy that starts to have a bad attitude, it brings down everybody. You know, we got a really good team. We got uh, a lot of guys. There, I mean, we all have our expertise and everything like that. But uh, our attitude's been great so far. We all been pushing each other, bring each other up instead of down, and uh, it's been good. I joined the Army because uh, I didn't want to sit around and be idle and not do anything for my community or my country. So I decided to join when I was 17, and I don't regret it ever since. I just signed another contract for six years, so I'm looking forward to being in for at least 20 years. The camaraderie you have with the other guys, it's more of a, at first it was kind of uh, to do something with myself and and I accomplished that and everything, but now what keeps me here is the, the guys at the 309th are really, really good guys and I wouldn't be, be in any other unit, so uh, just being with a good group of guys is kind of what's kept me in. Uh, it's, it's pretty fun. I mean, it's the first time I've done anything like this, and so it's a, a good experience. I'm learning a lot. I'm with a lot of good guys that are dropping knowledge on me left and right, and it's helped all the way for me getting here, and I know it will carry me through the competition as well. Just the ability to always be able to push yourself, you know, uh, you've got people around you pushing yourself and just being a better person, you know, I plan on being in for a long time and taking every opportunity I can to make, make myself better and, and uh, of course establish a good situation for my family and new son, so it's a, it's a pretty good pretty good start for it.